dessert wines. Alright guys, so that was our day at Narcuzzi's and that was a very nice dinner for us for first night here at Disney mm -hmm. uh, for our two year anniversary. Yeah. So my first thoughts on it, I would say the restaurant itself was excellent. Mm -hmm. The food was amazing. The drinks were great. Mm -hmm. um, our server was a little slow. Indifferent. Indifferent. Uh, he didn't have a sense of humor, I don't no. think. He was very serious yes. and he was a little slow. Yeah. But I'm not gonna hold that against guess, the restaurant. Right. Um, you know, because not everyone is perfect. Yeah. And he didn't do a bad job. No. And that's the thing, so. But with that being said, at the same time, we didn't feel rushed at all. Mm -hmm. So we were able to eat as slow as we wanted to eat yeah, or drink. Basically they sat us down and said, yeah. enjoy, relax, take your drinks, go out on the patio, see the fireworks, see the fireworks come back, like just relax. Yeah. And I think <laughs> maybe that's why it felt slow because I am used to yeah. like some restaurants they're kind of trying to rush you in and out because mm -hmm. they're trying to feed everybody through. Yeah. Whereas this one's more like, hey, relax, yeah. take your time. You're on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, other than that, though, it was really great. It yeah. was a great experience. I mean, it's a little bit high dollar, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. It's um, a special occasion yes. meal. I would not, Restaurant. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend, like, saying, like, yeah. oh, here, eat here every weekend. Right, you know? <laughs> no, but for, you know, a birthday, an anniversary, even a holiday, yeah. and especially in an evening slot where you can go see the Magic Kingdom fireworks, Yeah, it's a great location. It's a good, you know, you can... Right. still hear everything they have the speakers there you can see all the fireworks and you really can't see the um the graphics the yeah, the, yeah projection, the projections projections on the castle but yeah. i mean once you see them you don't right. really need them so it's more yeah. just hearing the music yeah. and putting the music with the fireworks and it's we've seen it now mm -hmm. from the park of course we've seen it from california grill mm -hmm. now we've seen it from basically grand floridian and we've also seen it from behind in Fantasyland. Yeah. From behind the castle. So it was really yeah. nice, like being on ground level seeing it. Cause California mm -hmm. Grill was kind of cool where you're up high seeing it almost high level. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just something about being on the ground, being low and looking up at them. Yeah, it was, definitely. Um, really nice. All right, so what did you get for dinner? I had the Key West shrimp and the, Campan the Campanella pasta. Yeah. It's sav See. <laughs> Savo spinach, oven roasted tomatoes, basil <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> and some Chardonnay garlic cream mm -hmm. sauce. <laughs> also, uh, one of my. You can also here. have it with chicken. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like seafood, you can substitute yeah. for chicken. Yeah. Well, you thought it was really good? Yes. Yeah. Um, it was a light cream. It wasn't like really thick like uh, Alfredo. It was more it was liquidy almost, but it wasn't as much as like shrimp scampi. Yeah. It was a little bit thicker than scampi, but not as thick as Alfredo. Yeah. So it went down really good. Yeah. So I almost liked it better. I love Alfredo. Mm -hmm. And I actually like this better than Alfredo. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what he always wants. He always wants <laughs> shrimp alfredo. Yeah. So, so um, uh, but I tasted it too, yeah. and the seasoning, the garlic sauce was really good. Yeah. The shrimp was perfectly seasoned. It didn't rely on the pasta cream or sauce right. or anything like that to season it. It was seasoned all on its own as well, and that was so good. Yeah, and the yeah. pasta was really good that yeah. went with it. Yeah. So I really enjoyed my dish. It was the Scottish salmon, and it came with... Let me read this to you. It was succotash of summer corn and hominy, creamy corn puree, a pickly relish, and andouille sausage. So for me, that was really good. The salmon was cooked perfectly, and I'm pretty picky about salmon. I don't order it every time I go out. It's just sometimes when I get a craving of a really good salmon, 
I'll order it. And so I'm like, well, this is a steak and seafood place. So let me just give it a try. And it was so good. And then just the flavors and the seasonings went so well together with the corn puree, the sweetness of that, along with the salmon. And then the sausage as well that kind of gave it a kick where it wasn't spicy, but it kind of just kicked you in the back of the mouth where you could just feel all that flavor yeah. as it went down. It was really good. And so I really liked that combination. So, I mean, I normally am like a steak girl, you know, so, and I like seafood too, but I'm really glad I got the salmon. Yeah, because I, yeah. I had a bite of it and I, I'm not a big salmon mm -hmm. fan, but it was good enough for me that I would have had a second bite if I really yeah. wanted. So it was really good. Yep, and then um, I had I just had Prosecco, um, and then you had a Moscato wine that you really enjoyed. Yeah. Yep, and then for dessert, we actually went something completely opposite. Normally, I'm a chocolate, I'm ice cream, peanut butter type dessert person. And we decided to get the mango gelato. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, mango sor sorbet. 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 The mango sorbet. And underneath it had, let me find it here, desserts. Yep, it had melon, pineapple, and berries. So blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. And it was so sweet that it was actually a no sugar added dessert. Yeah. So all it was was sorbet and then just cut up fruit. And it was so, so sweet. We could barely finish it. Yeah, it was really sweet. It was kind of odd. Like, we yeah. were kind of taking little bite samples, trying to figure out if it was the sorbet. Or just the fruit. Or the fruit. Yeah. I think it was the fruit. It was some really fresh, tart Yeah, it was like fruit. tart and sweet. Yeah. The mixtures of all those. Um, and then we had a cute little happy anniversary. Yeah. White chocolate. gift they did for yeah, us. Yeah, border on it. And then um, we actually got a free tiramisu with the same thing with our anniversary on yeah. it. And so that was just, you know, we never, yeah. you know, we wear our pins, <laughs> you know, but we don't expect anything because <laughs> we're just here to celebrate this, what we're doing. Right. So we don't expect anything, but it's really nice when they do. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a really good dinner, especially for an, a special, special occasion. occasion yeah. For yeah. a special occasion, mm -hmm. it made a memorable night. It did. Between yeah. the good food, the, the fireworks. fireworks. The view was phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend eating there if um, you want a really nice night mm -hmm. out. It's at the Grand Floridian. Yeah. You know, you can't really top that either. You know? Right. So. So yeah, that's a great place to eat at if you haven't already. I would definitely recommend mm -hmm. trying it there. Uh, that's about all I got. That's our review for Narcoozies. Yep. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye guys.